Fellow citizens, it is the ending of a beautiful day here in Satellite. We remain blanketed in safety. The safety of a veil pinned with stars. I hope that you have offered up your prayers to the mighty and benevolent Church and our sacred Redeemer. I hope that we, the kindred souls of the Twin City, have paid what is befitting of us. For tonight, as every night, we bask in the mercy of our great government. We sleep in the safety provided to us by those red-armed watchdogs. We rotate, we spin, we are drawn toward and propelled away from the heart of our homeland as we descend, finally, into sleep. So, my brothers and sisters, may we all find the medium between the shepherds and the watchdogs. May we balance ourselves between our great society and those that cast themselves from citizenhood to lie lonely on the fringes. Perhaps most importantly, may we bask in the glory of satellite. Bullshit. First, the church is only benevolent when it suits them. As with every institution in this forsaken city, the church sees its members as little more than dollar signs. Second, the watchdogs. While less corrupt than most of Satellite, they are little more than half-wild dogs loose in the streets. Sure, they protect the citizens of Satellite from the government and the mega-corporations, but as far as I can tell, the watchdog program is too little too late. After all, how can you expect ten sheepdogs to guard a herd of several million sheep, especially when half the time they're fighting the Wasp police force in addition to the Senate's corruption? Don't let Jay Murphy's honeyed words get to you. There is no balance. Everyone is fringe. If you don't live in the upper half of the city, you're fringe. If you dare to look above your station, you're fringe. If you find yourself looking for any semblance of justice or peace in this two-tiered hellhole, you're not only fringe, you're delusional. You know what's pretty easy to do to fringe? Cut it off. Every now and then I wonder why I care. If this city is wielding scissors like an unsupervised two-year-old, why should I care if one day it's going to trip? Is it bad to say that I care because I'm selfish? This city may be the split city of the damned, but there's still tobacco, coffee, and whiskey. There are soap operas and friends to watch them with. And if the sun lines up just right, it shines down on my bench outside my office. And I can sit and feel its warmth on my face. And when it doesn't, which is most of the time, the neon lights paint bold brushstrokes in the darkness of the city. Almost like a world where an artist just imagined what life would be like if only the boldest of colors existed. It's not hard to convince myself that these are the things that make this fight worth it. Because they are. This is a city that thrives on the flesh of those that walk its streets. So maybe you just have to grab a knife, carve out your own piece, and fight for it. Heart Private Investigation. Jack speaking. 